Hi everyone, Mary Ann Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. How's everybody today? It is Tuesday, and I don't even know what the date is anymore. I know the last day of July is Friday. 31, 30, 29, 28. 28th, I think. Okay, just wait a second and see if anyone pops on. As I said, my name is Marianne Cowan. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ottawa, Canada. And I come on every day at three, just because I love to craft and I love to share my ideas with anyone who cares to listen. So today we're going to be using um, a stamp set that actually is a carryover stamp set, so I had it from last year. But just before we start, a reminder, bonus days are coming to a close. So you have until August 3rd, and every $60 that you spend, you get a coupon to use in August for $6. So if you spend $120 before tax and shipping, you would get two coupons. And the new mini catalog comes out August 4th, so it's a perfect time to have bonus days coupons. Hello, Minnick and Shannon and Cindy. How's everybody today? It is a beautiful day out. We had lunch on the back deck today and there was a beautiful breeze. It's just a lovely day. It's not humid. So the stamp set we're using today is called Country Home. It's a carryover. And I just love this water jug and this milk can. We actually have a milk can on our, our in our laneway between the two garages. And I put it, I have some birch sticks in there and I fill it with seasonal flowers. Yes, Sandy, I agree. The weather's perfect right now. I was hoping for a bit more rain, but I'll stop harping about that. It is what it is and my flowers are loving it. So, um, I always had the idea of using these on their own without the rest of this stuff. I have made cards using these elements, which are really pretty actually. Um, but I'm going to use them today on their own with other just greenery things. And instead of coloring them, I've used some of the paper in the In Good Taste Designer Series paper. So I've actually used this one, which is supposed to resemble acrylic paint, I believe. I've used did I use that one? No, I didn't use that one. I use this one that looks like cement. It's perfect for the milk can. We used to have a foil that was called galvanized foil. Oh, Cindy, you're in tornado watch. That's not good. No, nothing here. And then I use this one, lots of texture today. And then it's just gonna be all about the greenery today. And I don't even know if I'm gonna add any flowers, but if I do decide to, I have my little tray of flowers here, but I'm not even sure I'm going to put flowers on. We'll just have to wait and see. So we're using Country Home. We're also using this branch from Birds and More Dyes. I love this branch and it's really easy to take it apart. And we're using the, for the second card, the nested, uh, stitched nested labels dies also a carryover awesome set to have and I did use the stitch so sweetly I didn't pull it out because that was just in my little stash of already cut out leftover pieces okay so we're gonna make two cards one in pear pizzazz one in hmm smoky slate maybe smoky slate and basic gray so let's make the green one first and I'll put that up here. So what I've done, pair of pizzazz, eight and a half by five and a half, folded or scored at four and a quarter if you like to score. I'm lazy. It's got a little bend, so I'll flip it over. Four by five and a quarter embossed with the Settles embossing folder. I use it so much. It's one of my go-to's. So let's just go ahead and add that because I don't think there's anything 
we need to put around. I'm just showing you different ways to use stamp sets than what you might look at it originally and use it for. This one reminds me, well, I should say the jar set this year reminds me of this set with the two different floral tops that you just add to the top of the vessel. So we're going to change it up a little bit. So then I have a wood grain from the, whatever it's called, in, I can never remember, in good taste, because it doesn't really make sense to me. In good taste. I'm not putting any sentiments on these. These are perfect cards to just have in your stash. And when you need something, just put the sentiment inside. So I did a bit of experimenting. So this is that piece that looks like um, acrylic paint. So you can see what it looks like. So I just found a spot that I liked and I stamped it first time I stamped it in basic gray and it was a bit dark so I thought I would try it in gray granite. So that's definitely lighter. But I think for this I'll go with the darker. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of this. In case you're not a teacher and have never cut out a gazillion things, just take your little pokey, start in the middle, don't start near the edge, start in the middle. Now because it's the handle, I'm giving it a little bit of more of an edge than maybe I would normally, or I did around the rest of it. So you just quickly, I cannot tell you how much stuff I've cut out in my lifetime. I taught grade one, kindergarten, a lot of the primary grades. All right, so there we have our little jug and it's just so cool how it naturally has the elements from the paper. I like that. So my idea for my cards today is just to add some elements to make it look like it's sitting in the jar, the jug. Now. This is obviously the front of the jug. That's the shadow inside the jug. So I don't want it to look like it's wrong. So I'm going to actually cut that out. Because I don't want that shadow showing. I want it to look like things are sitting right in the jug. That's better. Because if I didn't cut it away, it would look like there's the inside of the jug and these things are just sitting behind it, which is not the look we're looking for. All right, I'm gonna pop this up. So let's go ahead and just build up our little vase. So here's that branch from the bird dies. I love it. It's perfect, but it's a bit too tall like that. So we just need to trim it away. And sometimes when you trim, you have to go back and do another little bit of trimming like that looks dumb. So then we have those two. So I think we're just, this one I might add flowers to. Here is one in soft sea foam. This is pear pizzazz. Just kind of lining them up to see what I'm gonna like. And we can trim off some of them. I kind of like these ones because it's gonna spill a bit to the side. So I'm gonna take these two bottom ones and I might just even leave them together. because see how it's gonna spill off to the side, I like that. And then I have these vellum elements, those are from the poinsettia one, and so is this one. I love these little berries. I don't know exactly what they are, but these look like little cotton. I know they're not, but now, I do have my little trays over here that I'm kind of grabbing stuff off of. I feel like it needs something else in the middle and maybe something else up in the back, something darker. Hmm. These are also fun elements. Ooh, that might be nice. I wonder if I have any in a darker color. Got white. Don't really want to go white on this one. I 
there's that one as well. Okay, we've got way too much stuff there, but then I can pick and choose. Oh, here's one. Perfect. All right, that's a lot of stuff. So we have to remember that we want to build from the front. And I don't want any stamped images on this one. I do have some. It's a different look though when you have stamped images. I want just cutouts this time. And I'm not going to add any golds or anything to this one. I may to the silver one, but I don't think so because it's an old fashioned milk can, so it really wouldn't have glit with it. Glit. That's not a word. Hi, Lisa. All right. So let's start. I think I want to start with this one. So see how you can, like at first I had it like this. That's not good. So make it so that it's spilling over the top. And then maybe this one in the middle. Okay, let's start with that one because I do like that one there. I wonder if... No, I'm going to use glue dots. I was thinking of just putting a bunch of glue on the back, but then I'm going to have to hold it down to get it to dry, and I don't really want to spend that much time. Okay, where was the one I was using? Here. Oh, now see what I did? You have to put actually your glue dot on the front, which is the opposite of what you would think because I just put it on the back. Okay, so this is going to be our first one. Fairly low down. I kind of want those little those leaves peeking over the top. Then I'm going to add a vellum element because there's going to be some greenery behind it so it'll show up better once we get going. All right now I'm going to add this darker green one. It's actually pear pizzazz. I think it's just because the other ones I had were light. We'll add one of each. The flower arrangement I got for my birthday was interesting. I like looking at how they're designed. And it was definitely designed... It was called... Hmm, I forget what they called it, but it was definitely not your typical phase. It was long and everything sprouted out to the side. It was giving me inspiration. Okay, we don't need another one of those. Okay, let's add this one. I'm really just throwing stuff on here. But I think it's gonna look pretty. And I'm not sure I'm gonna add any flowers. You could put this one this way and go to the back. It does look a little different on the back though. So I actually don't like that. So I'm not gonna do that. But I might need to trim this one because it's got quite a long stem. But I like that because, yeah, I put that way too high. I hope I don't rip it. It's a bit flimsy now, but that's okay because it's going to be sitting on the card. Okay, then maybe this nice berry vellum one. Yeah, I like it there. This is a really simple, but I think pretty card. Now, you could be making sure you're not putting all your glue dots on the exact same spot because then it's gonna get really heavy. I think it needs one more of the dark green. And then we might be done. That one's actually stuck to the back of other flowers, which is kind of a good thing. Okay, let's put it on. I'm going to pop this up, but let's put it on and see. It needs something right here. Um, or we could move that. Let me see if... Okay, I like that. I'm going to put the glue dot on as low as I can because I'm not really sure what it's going to be hooking onto or gluing onto. I do want it like right about there. 
All right, it's gluing onto the back of some other flowers. So you can see my little mound here. It's good not to have too big of a mound. I like how this one is in the front. Okay, I like it. Now I'm going to put dimensionals on. I think what I'm gonna do is put one dimensional here and then put dimensionals on either side here because this is already pretty high. So I'm gonna use these little side strips. Let's see if that fits. Because I don't want this any, like it would look dumb if it goes too much, too high. Because it's probably already the thickness of one dimensional. And we'll decide if we're gonna pop this one up now that we've got this popped up. It's quite a bit. It does have a lot of depth. I like it. I almost need something right here. Oh, you know what? This little one. These little ones I've hardly used for anything, but I have cut them out just because every time I cut, I just do a whole Okay, let's do those two together. And I think there's enough on there. Let's see if I can get it in. There. Perfect. All right, so flat or up. I think maybe up. I should try some of those new sheets that we have. The adhesive sheets because this is a fairly big piece and it's not cardstock. So when it's designer series paper, it's not quite as thick. So I am going to put on I don't usually put six dimensionals but I am today just because this paper is not as thick. So it's a good reason to use those adhesive sheets. I haven't used mine yet actually. I don't know if anyone else has tried them and has any opinion about them. Oh, this is really pretty. So my, my other idea when I first started designing was perhaps adding a little flower but I definitely, I definitely do not think this one needs any flowers. Oh, that is kind of cute. Flowers or no flowers? What do you guys think? I'll leave it there for a second while I clean up and get ready for the other one. It does give it a little bit of a punch of color. I could do one with flowers. I'm not going to do it live, but one with flowers and one without. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'll just wait and see what you guys think as I'm getting ready for the next card. We'll just leave it right here. Okay, for the next card, I went with grays and we're going to be using whites and vellums. Yeah, Cindy, I didn't think I would like flowers, but I actually think they kind of look cute. They're kind of strategic. When I originally thought of these branches, I thought they would be cute with flowers because they have obvious places for flowers too. I do kind of like the flowers. All right, let's go ahead because then I could put little pearls in too. We did have some that were exactly that color. Flowers look nice. Okay, let's go with some flowers. Um, I'm just going to glue dot them on because they weren't in the original plan. I haven't exactly earmarked anything. You just don't want it to look unnatural, so you don't want leaves coming out of the tips of the flowers. And I think three is a good number and kind of have them offset. 
Okay, different look. Maybe I'll just stick some little pearls in them inside. What color is that? Melon Mambo. Don't know if I have. Oh, pearls look pretty. It does look like the types of flowers you'd see out in the country. I have lots of flowers looking like this right now in my gardens. Okay, flowers are cute. All right, next we're doing the milk jug. I'm definitely not putting flowers on this one. So we have hmm, smoky slate maybe. Smoky slate, this is basic gray. It's one of the grays. And then here is the milk jug and I've used this piece of paper that looks like concrete and then I don't have to color it. I do want to put some twine around it though so I'm going to do that now because I don't want to have to do it after I've got all my little greenery on there. So we'll just go ahead and do a little bow. I love the one I have in my driveway. In the spring I have fake forsythia that I put in there. And in the fall I put fall leaves, but I have probably 15, 10 or 15 branches, birch branches that just stay in there the whole time and then I just add stuff to them. So it's pretty. I like to decorate in case you didn't figure that out. Okay, so let's take our piece of paper, slide this over, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we're just going to fold it. Now maybe I should have done another layer, I didn't, because this one is pretty big. So this is, yeah, I should have done something embellished, embossed, I mean. So I'm not gonna put this on because I do wanna put something embossed. Basic gray. It might be the largest one. Second largest one with one of the pieces of designer series paper. So we can go ahead and put that on. I'm using white glue because I'm not using foil today, so I'm not worried about wrecking it. It's kind of easy to line these up. You just line up the peaks. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this to the side because I don't really need it right now. I will go back and add another layer of embossed. I think it just looks so much nicer. I'm not gonna do it now. I'll make you listen to me do that. All right, so my idea for this one is whites, greens, and vellums. So I have the exact same types of things in whites, greens, and vellums. So let's just go ahead and, this is a, well, it's actually not that much bigger, I guess. It seems like a bigger vessel to me, but it actually isn't. Whoopsie. So we'll start with some green. I might be able to get away with a double one here. It's quite large, but I like it. Well, let's remember we got to put this, we don't want it going off the card. So that goes there, that goes there. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, so that'll be one of our main ones. And We also have this one, but I do want another tall one on the right hand side. Is this like watching paint dry for you guys? I hope not. I'm having fun, but you guys are just watching. So I want to go with all subtles. I could go back and grab a darker color green, but I actually don't want to. I want it to be, I like how that hangs over there, but it might get messed up at some point. 
Let's add a white. I'm going to keep it long because I don't really know. Hmm. That one might be the wrong color if I'm going to do white and vellum. I'll just keep going and see how it looks. This die cut is really pretty. You can actually see the little embossing of the leaves. Whoever designed it did a great job. Taking that one out, putting that one in. We also have some of these ones again. Just seeing if I have a white one. I do. I have some of these little white ones as well. Sorry, I'm not talking into the mic. These ones are nice because you can shoot them off either way. It looks like a mess right now, but trust me, it's going to look good. I want this one to have lots. But then again, you can't have too much because like we learned from the last one, you don't want it higher than a dimensional. Okay, so let's start from the front. I'm gonna put this little one in here. Oh, we also have this rope. Well, it's not rope, twine. I'm gonna put a couple of these little white ones at the front. I'm going to put them together. And then when we're placing, you can see here I have to kind of go underneath. All right. That's the same one. Sometimes I lay it all out and then when I'm putting it together, it totally changes which is exactly what's happening right now. That's okay. We'll just trust that it's going to look good when it, we get it all done. Now I don't have any green in here yet. Okay, I'll introduce green with this little branch. Green is going to be not the main player. The main player is gonna be white and vellum Try this one. And I'm basically going with what I had cut out already. Oh no, I did cut out some of the bird branch ones. And then the rest are just kind of in my little tray. Trying to get that right. And I'm just going to trim it a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's just look again. I do want it to be balanced so it's a little bit off to this side. So we need something going off to that side. Let's try that one. Yeah, that's perfect. So now I'm just going to turn it over and see where I need to add my glue dot. It's good to add some down here so we don't get all the bulk up at the top. And the thing about a glue dot is you can kind of move it around after you put it down. I think it's turning out pretty, but I don't think I want to use this color of green. I think I'm going to stick to just the really subtle green, soft sea foam. Ow. Okay. Now, I need something back there. That will do. It's funny how when you look at the design of this, 
it's not something that you'd think putting back here but it totally works and I like how it goes to one side and the nice thing about that is you could use the other one going the other way because they're symmetrical you can easily flip it over this would be a good math lesson for my students all right looking good I got a leaf going out the side here so I can just trim that one off definitely needs something at the back just not quite sure what I'm gonna see where this one's gonna look good Thanks, Louise. I hope this is not boring for you guys. It's kind of cool to see someone's process of how they do stuff, I think. Now, that one might be a bit high. See how it's going to go off the card? So, luckily it was the last one I put on. So I'm just going to take it right back off. And I was trying to get a little bit of height back there, but obviously I can't put too much more height because I'm gonna be off my card. Yikes. All right, let me stop for a second and see how much we've got going on. It definitely, like this one little one up here is not floating my boat there and then I wonder if there's I was looking for oh exactly a vellum one of these there's little puppies there that'll be good and then I will walk away because I put to always end up putting so much stuff on Sometimes I tend to overdo it. You just really have to fill in the spaces. Okay, so I think that's enough. I'm just gonna slide all this stuff out. We'll take a look at it and see if there's any little pieces that we might need to pop something into. So we do have stuff coming out of the side of our can. That one I think is okay. It could be behind. All right, so let's go ahead and do the same thing with our dimensionals. This one's a bit bigger, so we might not need to cut up. Uh, yeah, I think we do. I think I'll still cut one. What did I do before? I cut the edge. Lisa it's not really hard it's just plain all right let's put this on and it would look pretty I think because it's kind of the theme is green and white and vellum maybe to have a vellum layer under here I think that's the biggest of the nested dies though so I couldn't do the nested dies Oh, what I've got ink or something on there all right so just pretend it's attached because I don't want to attach it I don't like it plain like that it needs something else I'm just not sure what yet but I'm definitely not adding flowers to this one so I'm just gonna look and see if there's any spots that I think need anything else and I don't think so like I said, I'm not putting any sentiments on these because they are perfect cards to just add a sentiment when you need one because this could be for anything. Condolence, could be birthday, anniversary. All right, so those are our two cards. 
Um, I don't even think I'm going to add. I took these out maybe to add to this card, but it's a bit rustic with the milk can. And there's these little silver ones too. Maybe after I do the next embossed piece, I might add something. Either embossed or vellum. Do I have anything big vellum in here? No. Let's just see what it would look like though. Mm. It still needs it still needs something else to make me happy. All right, those are my two cards for today. Well, this one's not quite finished, but it's finished for Facebook Live. So don't forget about some of the stamp sets that are returning, Country Home. And don't forget that you can use them in ways other than they're kind of designed. Oh, that's cute. Didn't see that. That's cute. You can put that little sign and then I bet love and thanks fits right in it. And it would look so cute on the milk can. Oh, next time. So um, don't forget to check back in your stash and see what you have that you can add new elements to to make it fresh. And I do love this. And like I said, the jar of flowers reminds me of this set because it jar of flowers has all the four seasons. This one is was really a fall set, um, but very fun to design with. Okay, I hope you're joining me on my mission to make a card, send a card. And I will be back tomorrow, Wednesday, with another Facebook Live at three o'clock. So thanks for joining me. Thank you, I'm glad you enjoyed this card. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks and have a great night.